So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Take a seat and join us for a game of Century Spice Road by Plan B Games, where we'll be taking control of caravans, using merchants to trade spices in order to gain the most points and win the game. So the table's all set up here. If you need to learn to do that, watch my how to play video. I'm going to be our second player, and as our first player, we've randomly determined it will be Rogue. But before she takes her first turn, let's take a closer look at our points card market. So under the gold here, we've got a 19 point card, which needs two red, two green, two brown. Then we've got a 12 point for two red and two brown under the silver. The 12 point here needs one of each. This 13 point, three green, two red, and this 12 point, a yellow, two green, and a brown. And our merchant row, we've got a free yellow spice card, a trade, two green for three red and two yellow, a green and yellow spice card, a trade, two red for a brown and two yellow, a trade, two green for a brown and two red, and a trade, two red for two green. And Rogue's first turn, she's simply going to take the card that will cost her nothing. And these slide down, and our new merchant out is a two green for two brown. And I'm going to skip this one and acquire this one to get a green and a yellow. And we get a trade free red for two green and a two yellow. Rogue will then go yellow, yellow, yellow to take this card here. And our new merchant out is a trade free yellow for free red. I'll then acquire this trade card so I get the two yellow spices. And this will shift down and our new merchant is a trade brown for a green and free yellow. Rogue's then going to play the first card of the game, gaining her free yellow spice. I will then acquire, and I'll skip those, skip that, and take this one here. Rogue will then also acquire, and she's going to skip this one to take this card here. Moves these down. I then only have two yellow spice, and the card I've got my eye on is this one here, which I'm not going to be able to get. But if I take this, that'll give me a lot of spice, and it will then move that one closer, and I'll be able to get it next time. And Rogue wants this card here which is good for me, it shifts the one I want down more. So I'll now pay the two to take the card I wanted. And new one out, got another trade, this time two yellow for a green. Rogue's then going to play another card, trading three yellow to gain three red. I'm then going to acquire this card largely because I want the spice off of it. And that means we get a new one out, which is free green to free brown. Rogue's going to play a card again, and she's going to trade two red for two green. I'll play this to gain a green and a yellow. Rogue will trade two green for a brown and two red. I'll trade five yellow for three green. Rogue will upgrade her red twice, so it goes to green, then to brown. And I'll trade two green for two brown. Then Rogue still has one card in hand, but she's going to rest to add all her other played cards back into hand. I'll then upgrade two yellow into two red. And Rogue will play that to gain three yellow. Then we have our first claim of the game using two brown, two green, 
and two red to get this 19 point card here which comes with a gold coin and these then slide down and our new one out we've got 16 point two red free brown and rogues then gonna follow suit doing two red and two brown to claim this card here getting her a gold coin and we slide down yet again so new one is 15 points two yellow two red and two brown i'll then acquire the card on the end here to gain a spice Moving these down, giving us a uh, five yellow to two brown. Rogue is going to trade her three yellow to gain three red. I'm then going to use the yellow spice to acquire this card here. And we shift down, and our new merchant is a uh, brown to two green. Pixel will trade two of her red. For two green. I'm then gonna gain two yellow and a red. And Rogue will trade two green for a brown and two red. Then I'll gain two yellow. Rogue then copies me playing the exact same card to get two yellow. I'll rest and Rogue will upgrade two reds to be two greens. I'm then going to play this to gain two yellow and one red. Then Rogue's going to claim her second point card with a brown, a green, a red and a yellow. So these shift down and I'll do a trade of five yellow for free green. Rogue will rest. And now it's my turn to claim. Uh, we'll go two red, free green. Getting me this here, giving me the last of the gold coins, meaning we slide these down to reveal a new card. Two red, a green, and a brown for 12 points. And our silver coins slide across to fill the leftmost space as we have no more gold. Rogue will play this for free yellow. I'll acquire this. And our new card out we get. Free yellow for a red and a green. Rogue will trade free yellow for free red. I'll take a green and a yellow. Rogue will then upgrade a red twice to a brown and I'll do the same double upgrade but I'll go for a yellow to a green. Rogue's then going to claim her third point card for two red, a green and a brown. And the new one out, three green, two brown. I'll then trade two green for two brown. Rogue will then play this for two yellow. And I'll trade my new browns for two green and three red. Then Rogue will rest. I'll play that for two yellow. Rogue will trade three yellow for three red. I'll trade my three red for two green and two yellow. Rogue will play that to gain three yellow. I'll rest. Rogue will use one, two, three to acquire that card. And we get a new one out, which is three red to three green. I'll trade five yellow for three green. Rogue will trade two red for two green. I'll trade two green for two brown. Rogue will trade two green for two red and a brown. I'll claim this card here with 
three green and two brown. And our new one out is 11 points, two yellow and three green. Then Rogue will gain two yellow. I'll play that, gaining a green and a yellow. And then Rogue is going to upgrade a red cube twice to brown. Then I'll do the same, except for I'm going to do a green to brown and a yellow to red. Rogue's then going to claim this card, so two yellow, two red, two brown. And we get a new one out, which is two yellow, three red. And I'm then going to claim this one for two green, a yellow and a brown, which gets me a silver coin. And these all slide up. And our new one out is ten points, two red, two green. And then Rogue is going to rest, and I'll play this to gain two yellow and a red. Rogue will play that to gain three yellow. I'm then going to trade my two red for two more yellow and a brown. Rogue will trade her three yellow for three red. And I'll trade my brown for three more yellow and a green. Then Rogue will gain two yellow, which will then mean next time she can claim a card. Think I need to rest. Then, as expected, Rogue is going to claim her fifth card with three red and two yellow. Now, if we were playing more than two players, this would be the end game trigger. But we're playing with two, so we've got one more till the end game is triggered. And the new one out is two yellow, a red and a brown. I'll then trade five yellow for three green. Rogue's then actually going to rest. I'm going to play that and gain a green and a yellow. Rogue will get three yellow. I'll trade two green for two brown. Rogue is going to trade three yellow. For free red. I'm then going to upgrade two yellow for two red. Rogue will gain two yellow, two red for two yellow and a brown. Rogue will then upgrade a red to a green and then the green to a brown. And I had been putting off doing this because I'd been trying to get to a point of being able to afford that but leaving this as a backup, but uh, Rogue now has what she ha needs to end the game. So three green, two yellow will get me that 11 points. And the new one out is two brown, two green, which I would have been able to afford annoyingly. Oh well. Rogue will of course then claim this one for a red, brown, and two yellows, which is another nine points, and that is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that triggers the end of game. So we finished the round. Rogue was first player, so I get one more turn, and then that's the end of the game, and we count up score. And as non yellow spice is going to be worth points at the end of the game, I'm going to trade two brown for three red and two green. And that's the end of the game. So my score, uh, we've got 11, 23, 40, 53, 63, 72, 75, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. Then Rogue score, we've got 12, 24, 36, 46, 51, 59, 68, 71, 74, 75. So I win.
And that is Century Spice Road by Plan B Games. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, as well as subscribing and sharing. And as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.